having a private party. Ain't nobody here but me, my angels, and my guitar singing. Baby, look how far we've come, yeah. I'm having a private party. Learning how to love me. Celebrating the woman I've become, yeah. I tried to call my mother, but she didn't get... Hey guys, it's Alicia Renee, and I'm back. I'm back to Believe It or Not review Elf's 100 color eyeshadow palette. You didn't expect that it was going to come. I didn't expect that it would come. I'm completely surprised. Happily surprised, but surprised nonetheless. I ordered the Elf stuff Cyber Monday 2010, and I got it today, January 6, 2011. If you have not watched that video, the link is down here. To cl click on that video and follow it and see the whole synopsis of what went on. Um, horrible customer service. Um, products getting lost things not being in the order it was just a mess but long story short because of all of that and constant calling to the company and emails uh, my money was refunded so I got the products that I did receive for free so if you have a horrible experience I definitely say go and call somebody email somebody let them know so the company or whoever you're dealing with has an opportunity to try to make it right for you so definitely definitely want to do that so few things I'm going to say before I jump into this review of this product. First thing being first, when I do my reviews, I will let you know if this product was purchased or if it was sent to me. In this case, we're going to treat it as if it was purchased because originally I purchased these items. However, due to the shoddy customer service over experience, they refunded me the money to kind of, you know, rebound or whatnot. So that is that. Secondly, products are sent to me. There is another review coming up in a few days that will be on the channel. Um, of some product line that was sent to me. Now, I will say this, if you're thinking about sending me products, I'm going to give you a heads up. I'm not going to lie to my, my viewers. I'm not going to lie to friends that watch my channel. If you don't want an honest opinion, I would definitely say don't send me your products because my reputation means more to me than your product line or your sales. So, you might want to keep that in mind when you send me stuff. Send me your breast stuff, put it that way. So, with that being said, I also want to speak to that one person out there in YouTube land. Now, I'm sorry that my experience with ELF is not the same as yours, and it is your beloved ELF company. However, my experience with customer service was not the same as yours. Sorry. So I can understand why you always give me a thumbs. Now, this one person, you're always on the channel because it's only you that will give me a thumbs down on anything that has ELF involved when I say something negative. But I want to say to you, thanks for watching my channel. I do appreciate the feedback. Although negative, you can't make everyone happy. But I, what I do strive to do is tell my viewers the truth, whether it's positive or negative. So when you purchase a product, you're not going to say, she told me it was good and it's garbage. I'm not the one. So if you don't want me to review your elf company, your beloved elf company with negative remarks, you might want to email them and tell them to step their game up. Because people like me on YouTube do exist where we're going to tell the people the truth. So thanks for watching. I appreciate the views. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, but I think you already have. So anyways, back to the review. So this is the ELF 100 palette eyeshadow. Okay. Now when I got it and I opened it up, it kind of reminded me of Profusion's eyeshadow palette. Not the newest one that I just told you guys about. But their palettes are blocked off the same way these are. It gives a good array of colors and it just flows very well from left to right of course but um, yeah it reminded me of Perfusion. I'm gonna swatch a few of these so you can see how it is in this there mm. and then there okay so so far most of the colors are true to color but I'm gonna go ahead and go into another production so I can show you exactly what it is that I'm talking about with how the colors are painted right, out. I'm going to try this a little bit differently so you can see the swatches actually on camera versus just in pictures. So I'm going to have to be behind the camera and studying it on something so I can point to the colors. But these are some of the swatches that I went through and actually picked out. The top row is going to be on my natural skin with no primer. The second row, the one in the middle, is going to be with primer. And the last one is going to be over NYX's Jumbo Stick and Milk. Now you have to pardon me, I'm getting a little cold. You see my goosebumps? But anyhow, 
All right, so I'm going to flash into some of the pictures, but before I go individually, as collective as a whole, I'm going to say most of these that you can see, they pretty much are true to color with or without the primer. Some of them I was a little disappointed in because they're not true to the color that's in the palette, but so far they have a pretty good color payout. So we're going to go individually so you can see where they are in the palette. Now this first color here is the first one that I'm going to bring up for you. I wasn't too impressed with it. It has not, it has shimmer in it, but again, it doesn't match what's in the palette, or it's not really a good color combination with my skin tone. This would be something that someone of much lighter, fair complexion could probably have a good look with that one. Oh, this red, I was really, really impressed with this red. I did not know that I was going to get this vibrant of a color even without it being prime that color looks amazing the same thing with this blue this blue uh, I, I, I was impressed with it um, again here where, where there is no primer you can see that is pretty true to the color on our primer and under milk over milk rather so I'm impressed with that one This color uh, kind of reminds me of like a pewter, um, something that I have in NYX. I'll have to look through them and see if I can find it. Um, it reminds me of the same color, so this definitely is good. As you can tell, there's no color difference between these um, with the primer and no primer. Unfortunately, this blue kind of disappointed me. It was not how it looked in the the package once I swatched it so I'm not too much a fan of it you guys know I love blue so I was kind of disappointed when I saw this one although there is a good color payout here it's not the color that it is in the package this yellow is amazing I have a girlfriend who loves yellow fortunately she got this palette so I think she'd be happy when she sees how these colors turned out as you can see on the swatch, I have to turn it at an angle. They all pretty much look identical. All right, this green, I was really impressed with this green as well. I didn't think I was gonna get this kind of color payout, so I think this is one of my favorites. This red and this green that's in this palette is definitely a surprise for me, and I'm really loving that. Now, as you can see from the image that I just showed you, it's a really light color. However, on my skin, it barely shows up. Again, this is probably one of those colors that will look very, um, it'll have a better result with someone who is much fairer in complexion because it just really blends in very well with my skin tone. You really can't see it, so. But th it starts there and ends. All right, guys, right so here. now that you've seen the swatches and the, the, the images of the palette itself, I'm going to give you my opinion. Um, for ten dollars, it's not a bad deal. There are some colors in here that I can say I am disappointed in. The payout is not that good. Um, they're really sheer. Like a lot of the light colors that are in here are very sheer. Even over a base, um, you would have to base it with um, a color similar to get the color to show. However, if you're someone who's fair complexion, you might have a better result. But I have heard that some people with fair complexion still are not having a good. Um, good results with the lighter colors that are in there just don't have enough pigment in them um if you are someone who really likes color i would probably suggest that you stick with 120 but if you're someone who's just starting off this you know it's a good palette for you to start off if you don't really want to jump straight into those the 120 coastal scents because those are on a whole different level compared to these some of these um like the the red in here actually i'm more satisfied with the red in here than actually in um, my 120 um, it's kind of comparable to the one in the coastal scents palette so um, not a bad deal 10 bucks hey you can't complain about that so that is my opinion about it guys you know um, check it out check out the website they do they might have some maybe that's why I received it but last time I checked they were out so just check their websites check Target and see what you find out so that's it that's what I think about the hundred um, 
color eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so because, again, there's a contest coming up. And the products that are going to be given away are amazing. I'm a little upset because I don't even have the products that you guys are going to get. But keep your eyes out for that. That should be up the next two or three days. But I'm not going to quote it. I'm not going to tell you. You just have to pay attention and see when I put it up. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Color your world with a little more color and I'll see you next time. Bye!